guides and rulers in Premiere Pro. Here's some tips, viewer, you might want to know. First, if you're looking to make your frame cooler, Command plus R brings up that ruler. Let's make things smoother. Command semicolon. Displays guides. If nothing comes up, don't think it's in disguise. We just gotta click and drag them out from the side. Or the top, this is nothing new if you use Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator 2. To get rid of them, just drag them out of your view. That's all you gotta do. Well, actually, let me take a second or two. Let's back right back up to when I told you how to use those keyboard shortcuts. They may not have worked. I wasn't trying to be a jerk, but let me fill you in on this little quirk. The program monitor needs to be selected if you want to use the shortcut method. Now let me add to the buttons in your site. Click the plus sign on, on the, the bottom, bottom right. Drag on, show rulers, drag on, show guides, drag on, save margins, okay, let's ride. Click them all and this is what you get. You want rule of thirds, homie? <laughs> Don't fret. Right click the ruler and choose percent. Right click again, add guide, no sweat. We need to fill out some information, position, units, color, and orientation. This one will be 33.3% from the top, but there's more, you'll see. Repeat the process, but switch the position from bottom to left to right. You're listening? Because if you are, a frame is split into thirds. I know that was pretty fast, but I hope you follow my words. And speaking of words, how about some titles? We'll have your text lined up better than your rivals. Hold command, drag to snap into place. And it works with clips too if you slap those in that space. Don't like holding modifiers? Check out the view. Snap in program monitor. It does it for you. I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. But that's not all you can do with that menu. You can lock, add, and clear guides too. And what I miss, you got guide templates? You can save and manage your own guide presets? Well, that makes this save margins seem like a disc to the one that you can click from the menu like this. Wait, whoa, 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 Javier, Javier, Javier. I beg your pardon. Are you telling me that there are two ways that you can bring up safe margins? Yeah, it's quite a bargain but my bars aren't done, so let's just cut through this jargon. So you know what I mean. Click this wrench and go to overlay settings, and here's how we are getting those bars that you see. You see, these percentages are meant for things like TV. Uh, keep important actions 10% from the edge. Keep your titles 20% or your producers will probably be losing their heads. Trust me, feel free to change these as need be, but this is what is commonly accepted. And there's one more tip I wanna show you to perfect it. A new guide area I think the industry needs to address and I cannot stress how much I wish both camera companies and editing software companies came standard with a guide layout like this. For vertical video, in a horizontal frame. I'm talking about a 16 by nine with a nine by 16. Guide, come on guys, wouldn't it be nice to have this come stock in all cameras and softwares alike? But I digress, so I'll have to show you my solution to this. For now, I guess. Right click, add guide, type 34.2%. Change the color so it looks different. Make it vertical and from the right. Hit okay, hey, there's our first guide in sight. Let's add another. Type in that same number, but click left to make it look different. Hit OK, and you should be on your way. Throw a vertical video in to check the display. And if it looks great, don't forget to hit save on that template. My name's Javier Mercedes, and if you don't like this rap and think this tut is too fast, haters, please spare me your comments and allow me this one video as a creative outlet. Cause man, this has been fun, and if you think so too, hit that like button, and hopefully I'll pop up in your future feed or something. Uh, uh, here's an algorithmically chosen video just for you, by the robots that are taking our jobs at YouTube. It's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you enjoyed the nuance, and until next time, live a life of abundance.